Hello everyone and welcome to another Computer Software Is Your Friend tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to get Mountain Lion to work on your PC. Uh, the PC I'm using is the Asus KPLCM series. So uh, if you have the same PC as mine with the GeForce 8400 NVIDIA graphics card, then this tutorial is definitely for you. Otherwise, uh, I did make the steps very general so that you can always plug and play later on with your texts. But for this first part of the of the video, uh, the video series rather, uh, basically this is the procedure for everyone to use. Uh, the only real all, the only real difference is in the beginning when uh, you have to basically start the computer hit F8 and uh, well f 8 to call on the uh, the BIOS to get your to get the, uh, the the boot selection screen so once once that is sorted out you can basically uh, replicate what I do I'll make it short and sweet and then from there comes the fun part in the next video so without further ado, uh, plug in the USB uh, key that you made in the previous video where I showed you how to prepare the installation media. And uh, we shall get started. So I've got my finger on F8. I've got my toe on the start button here. So let's start her up. So as soon as we open the computer, you hit the, uh, the boot selection screen button. In my case, it's F8. In some cases, it's displayed on the BIOS message. Mine isn't, unfortunately. So then what you're going to do is you're going to boot from the USB, which has got a bootloader on it, which is tailored for the uh, Mountain Lion install. And uh, essentially, you just hit enter once you hit the screen, and it's going to boot into Mountain Lion, well, the installation. Now, you should uh, basically have your partitions ready beforehand, but if not, you can always go into Disk Utility during the installation and do that. I shall show you how to do that in a moment, as soon as it gives me the opportunity. So I've now got a working mouse, a working UI. Basically, you select your language. Uh, in my case, that's English. And uh, basically to prepare your uh, your partitions, you would just go to the utilities menu, go to disk utility, and uh, as you've seen in my previous videos on how to do this, you basically go to your partition here, which is my preferred partition, erase, and you can um, basically set it it said its name and race and it shall do everything uh, to partition a hard drive you would click on the hard drive entirely partition in here you would manage the partitions but I'm not gonna do that because I'm good to go so I can click next I can click continue on this screen and I'm going to agree to the terms that uh, are given here you can read them if you want um, so then ultimately through all of my partitions I'm gonna go and I'm gonna find the Mountain Lion partition which I've made specifically for the purpose of installing Mountain Lion so with that I'm going to install now the install is gonna take around 20 minutes 20 to 30 minutes so you can leave it on its own um, and then once that's done we're going to restart and once restarted we shall go through the setup screen uh, to set up our accounts but there's something about the restart which I'm gonna have to specify if you're using an Nvidia card it will cause a kernel panic and the only way to get around that is to use NV disable is equal to 1 I'll show you that um, right when this is done installing and the installation is complete so now it's basically going to restart uh, of course, you can restart when you're ready, um, or else it will restart for you. So now what you're going to do is you're going to boot back into the USB. Uh, ultimately not because you want to go back into the installation, 
but because you don't want to boot into a blank hard drive, which is never fun. So again, you hit your, your designated key, mine is F8, and uh, you go back into the USB key that has the Mountain Lion specific bootloader. So now once in here, you're not going to go back into the installation, I would hope. Uh, you're going to uh, use the arrow keys on your keyboard to navigate your available hard drives until you find the one uh, that you installed Mountain Lion on. In my case, it's Mountain Lion. Now what you're going to do is you're going to type on the keyboard NV underscore disable is equal to one. Now this uh, this boot tag here which I just used is specific to those with an NVIDIA graphics card and that's because uh, the NVIDIA drivers on here are going to crash um, when you boot regularly and what that means basically is that when you try and boot off of this partition you're always going to get a kernel panic, which means you're never even going to make it to the desktop, or in our case, to the installation settings. So, we're going to use this boot flag. If you're not on an NVIDIA uh, graphics card, you can boot normally. Um, if you run into a boot kernel, uh, if you run into a kernel panic, then, uh, well, then you will probably need to deactivate the graphics, your graphics card should have some kind of um, boot flag you can look that up but in my case I have Nvidia here and I doubt any of you will be trying this on the Aspire 1 um, speaking of the Aspire 1 I'll try and get Lion on it and I highly doubt it will work but we'll see so now once this is done you hit enter like so and it should boot for the first time into um, into Mountain Lion now we're gonna miss the welcome video because the graphics don't work the sound don't work so we're kinda trapped with what we have but at least um, at least we're gonna get some kind of installation set up of course I will show you how to fix the graphics the internet and the sound in the next video but for now we're just gonna get this set up and up to a desktop that will be broken now, of course, if you like my Hackintosh videos, and if you like my other videos, uh, I have an entire Windows 8 series. I'll be adding more to that eventually, and I'll also be trying to get some more stuff on the open source community out there. Um, Ubuntu is really shaping up, and uh, game, uh, game developers are actually moving to uh, open source because they really are not fans with, uh, with Windows 8. Even though I personally love Windows 8, a lot of people for some reason really hate it. So they're moving to the Linux community now. So stay tuned for that. Of course, I'll use anything. Pretty much anything. I'm using Hackintosh right here. Um, realistically, am I going to use it beyond these tutorials? Not much, but hey, it's fun to play with. And it's, it's fun to challenge myself to do these videos for you guys. So if you really like my work and if, you, if you've uh, benefited from my tutorials, then please do subscribe. Um, now, th this is not going to work, so we're going to say that it doesn't connect to the internet and click continue. Um, we're not going to transfer any information to this. That's pointless. And of course, here's the terms and conditions. Continue, agree. So now, once we get here, we can play with uh, with the picture. You can take a picture of yourself if you have a webcam that works and it's supported. My webcam's not supported. Although, because the graphics don't work, you'll see these pictures here aren't even going to show up, which is a shame. So, they, they are there. They just won't display because the graphics... Um, that's the thing with OS X. If, if, if its graphics don't work, it's useless. However, in Windows, if the graphics don't work, it's still useful. 
So here what we're going to do is I'm going to put in my full name without the question mark and then I'll just type in a password. So then you can basically uh, decide if uh, you want to require the password to log in. I certainly don't. And then they'll require you to put a hint so just type in random letters. Um, and now essentially you just hit continue. And it's going to create my account. Now it's going to ask me where I am in the world. Well, I'm in the East Coast. So I'm over, I'm just over here, yeah. And uh, that's it. That's pretty much it when it comes to setting up this nice mountain lion machine. Welcome to Mountain Lion and it's really broken state as you can see nothing uh, really looks normal we'll fix that we'll fix that in the next video of course I don't want to drag this one on so again if you really like my stuff if you uh, you of course can check out my website you really should computer software is your friend dot com link is in the description below um, you'll find much more tutorials, much more content there. So if you like my uh, videos and if you uh, have had success with your Hackintosh thanks to me, then subscribe. I, 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 I really do care about this kind of thing. So subscribe, let me know that you're interested in more because uh, ultimately that's, that's the way for you to be updated when I upload something new and that's my way of knowing that you want me to upload something new. And... Uh, I'm sorry that the Mountain Lion uh, installation is a bit late. I've had a lot of work. You have no idea. So uh, I uh, luckily I found time today. I'm a bit behind. I'm going to have to do the uh, videos for the updating to 10.8.2. That's going to come up too. Uh, right after I get this thing all nice and set up and fancy and working, I'll get that done. So without further ado, this has been another Computer Software Is Your Friend tutorial. Again, uh, like this video, comment if you have any questions, and most importantly, subscribe if you want to see more. So until the next video where I show you how to get this thing into a usable state, this is it.